Hi, this is Champlet 2 with a review of the auto shop locations from the Los Santos Tuners DLC. There are five locations to choose from and we'll examine everything you need to know about each one of them. All five auto shops are in Los Santos. No matter which location you choose, if you call Pegasus from any of the auto shops, your aircraft will spawn on the top of the medical center in Davis. Customer deliveries and the KDJ contract jobs can take you almost anywhere on the map. So consider where you prefer to spend most of your time in GTA Online and let these tips help guide you to the best auto shop location for your needs. The least expensive auto shop is at Mission Row for a regular starting price of $1,670,000. There is very little parking space at this auto shop. Basically, you have to park on the street or on the sidewalk. And I'm flying up over the building to show you there's no place in the back to park, and you can't even land a helicopter on the roof because there's no ladders on the whole row of buildings to climb up or back down. If you want to land a helicopter, you basically have to land it here, above the subway. But if you spend a lot of time at your Mission Row nightclub or your Video Geddon Arcade, well, this might be a really good location for you. Next up is the Strawberry Auto Shop for a regular starting price of $1,705,000. This one has really easy access from major roads and fantastic parking space for several cars, large vehicles, a cargo bob, or even a Hydra. All of the space you could ever possibly need. There are several business locations nearby, like the Strawberry Nightclub and both the Arcade and the Vehicle Warehouse in Davis. The Maze Bank Tower and Arcadius Executive Offices are just up the road, too. The Rancho Auto Shop has a regular starting price of $1,750,000. There's plenty of room to park large vehicles or land any helicopter you want by the side of this building. The stairs do go up to a door on the second level, but sadly, it doesn't open. One minor negative to this location is the nearby train tracks, but thankfully the trains are really short and they won't slow you down for very long. Now, a great advantage of this one is that it adds a convenient new custom shop in the middle of southern Los Santos. And it'd be a really handy location if you spend a lot of your time at the Davis Arcade or the Davis Vehicle Warehouse. And it's not far from the La Puerta Vehicle Warehouse and the Maze Bank Arena, too. Now let's look at the Burton Auto Shop with a regular starting price of $1,830,000. There is excellent parking for large vehicles or helicopters right here by the garage door with easy access to a major road. I guess the only slight negative is that it does add a custom shop to the map, but it's so close to the LSC in Burton that it's really not much of an advantage. You know, YouTube viewers often ask me which is my favorite location for different businesses, and I'd have to say this one is definitely my favorite auto shop. I really like that it's not far from my 8-bit arcade and my downtown Vinewood nightclub because I spend a lot of my GTA time in those two businesses and all the executive offices are nearby too. Most importantly, this is the most centrally located auto shop on the map, so you should have the best average time for customer deliveries and KDJ missions, which could take you almost anywhere. Finally, the La Mesa Auto Shop has a regular starting price of $1,920,000. There is very little parking for vehicles here on the sidewalk or maybe over under the freeway overpass or beside the building to the right. But basically, there's no good space for helicopters. There is one pretty cool advantage of this location is that if you look up on the freeway there, there's a gap in the wall so you can jump down here pretty easily. And there are major streets around it, so it's got that going for it. But back to the parking, you could park here next to the fence and you could drive around or park a vehicle inside the fence, but you can't jump over it from here on the side. 
The only way to get over is to go around the front and jump over the side. But as you can see, a large helicopter like my Cargo Bob is not going to fit beside this building. And you can't land it on the top either because there's no ladders. It would be really convenient to have this auto shop if you spend a lot of time at your Video Geddon Arcade. And it's also the closest auto shop to the casino. Plus, there are many freestanding car garages on this road for your ever-expanding personal vehicle collection. Here's what you need to know about the trade-in values for the auto shops when you move to a new location. Now, as I'm recording this, it's one day after the initial release of the Los Santos Tuners DLC. And I'm pretty sure there's currently a bug in the game regarding the auto shop trade-ins. On day one of the release, I received a 50% trade-in value for the auto shop property and for every upgrade that I had purchased, including designs, staff, living quarters, and the lift. But now on day two, the only trade-in value is just for the property and nothing at all for any of the upgrades. I suspect that the standard 50% trade-in for everything including the upgrades is accurate, but this may be a temporary software bug that will hopefully be corrected in the near future. None of the upgrades you purchased in your first auto shop will remain in the new location, so you will have to purchase them all again, but hopefully when this bug is corrected, you'll get 50% back from your original investment. All of the progress for the KDJ contracts remain after you move, but if you had a customer vehicle waiting to be modified, it will not move with you to the new location, so you'll just have to wait for another one to show up. Thank you so much for watching. A like for this video and a subscription to my channel are always greatly appreciated. You'll find a link to my Discord server in the video description below. And I really hope you'll stop by and say hello. We have a lot of great players in there, and we periodically schedule GTA meetups with each other on all the different platforms. Sure hope to see you there!